Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. In uh, this uh, video, I uh, have to show you how you can block the social media traffic on the Ubiquiti Edge Router. So I have an Ubiquiti Edge Router X Router and uh, I just want to connect uh, to my computer to it to be able to get internet from it. But at the same time, I want to block the social media traffic because you know that in case you are working in a production network, for example, for a company, and uh, you have a lot of users inside your company, then a lot of bandwidth can be wasted on the social media traffic. So you want to keep the internet to be provided to your users, but at the same time, you want the social media to be blocked. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You will see that on the uh, Ubiquiti Edge Router X and all the Edge Router series, so any uh, router which is working on the Edge Max operating system, actually, the way to block the social media traffic is very easy. So in this lab, I'm going to show you how this can be done. As you can see here, we have a lab of seven points. Before I start doing those points, let's go to the lab scenario to show you what is our scenario. Then I will come back to the points and start doing them. So this is my scenario. I have an Ubiquiti Edge router here. So I have an Edge router X that is connected to the internet. So that means here there is an internet and it is connected to its interface Ethernet 1. So this router has internet and this router I have already configured to share the internet. So now my computer is connected to it. It, gets, it is receiving an IP address, the subnet mask, the gateway, the DNS, and it can go to the internet. And if you want, I can just show you directly. I'm on my computer now. And uh, from my computer, if I ping google.com, you see that I'm able to go to the internet. So I have a ping reply. And uh, I don't have any configuration on the, uh, the Edge router more than this. All right, so I didn't apply any filter rules at all. And uh, now if you want, we can check, we can go to the router. So let's go to the IP of the router. And uh, we go to UBNT. So I still have the default username and password, which I don't uh, really recommend you to keep it. But because that's a lab, that's fine. So UBNT, UBNT. And now you see that uh, the configuration that I have on this router is that I have uh, made uh, the NAT, I have made the DHCP server, I put an IP on uh, the interface switch zero, and I put inside switch zero the interface Ethernet two, three, and four. That means if you put your computer cable on Ethernet two or Ethernet three or Ethernet four, then it will keep uh, connected to the Internet. And now if we go, let's do the two box, let's ping google.com from the Edge router, you see that I have a reply. So that's what I only have at this moment. The option that I need to do now is to block the social media traffic. Point number one, open facebook.com and linkedin.com on your PC. Are they working? So let's try to do that. So uh, we go here to the browser and let's uh, open facebook.com. Just click on it. You see Facebook, it's working. Let's open LinkedIn.com. You see that LinkedIn is working. So, so far, so good. Those are working. And I really don't want those traffic to stay open. I really need to block them from the Edge Router. And you see the Edge Router give us the capability to do that. That's really a very nice feature from the Ubiquiti Edge Router. Point number one is done. Point number two, enable the DPI on the Edge Router. So what is DPI? DPI means Deep Packet Inspection. So the Edge Router will make deep inspection on the packets to know that this is a traffic for Facebook or this is traffic of, on LinkedIn. And based on that, you can create the filter rule and he put them in a category. We will see that in the category to be able to block them. So you need to have the DPI enabled. By default, it is enabled, but just in case it is not enabled, just I want to show you how you can enable the DPI on the Edge Router. So we go to the Edge Router. And from here, let, we go to the command line. All right, so on the command line here, we have to put the username again, UBNT, the password UBNT. And now we have to say configure. And then we have to say set system traffic analysis and now we say dpi and enable so this makes your dpi to be enabled and then we have to also follow with another comment set system traffic analysis and over here we have to say export enable so those two comments we need to rewrite them and in this case we have the dpi is enabled on the edge router ubiquity edge router x Point number two is done. Point number three, check the category, which is social network, 
which application it has. So as I said, that the, the Ubiquiti make a category. So he makes many categories. And inside the, those categories, you put, for example, category social network. You put all the social media networks that are available. For example, Facebook, LinkedIn, and some other social uh, traffic. So they put them under a category, and this category he called it social network. So all you need to do is to apply a filter rule against this category. Then this will apply to all the social media uh, networks or applications that are available in this category. There is another category, for example, which is for the adult sites. There is another category, which is for the streaming media. So you, we will see them in a moment. But just to show you that if you want to know on the social network, which application they are there. So their Facebook or their LinkedIn or their any other Instagram or any other social media, which are inside this category. You need to write this comment, this one. So let me copy it. Pseudo. Then uh, we make slash USR, SBIN, UBNT, DPI, uh, Util, and then show cat application and then social network. Let's see if I can paste it to the edge router. So we go to the edge router and let's try to see if we can paste it. And no, we cannot. So let's try it. sudo and then slash USR and then SBIN and then and let's see. UBNT DPI util, so UBNT DPI, so utility, and then I think it's something like show category, let's check, show category application social network, okay, so then show category application social network enter so there is a mistake somewhere let's check yeah the util i wrote it and application so and so your util is not correct this should be util and then enter now you see that in a moment it will list for you all the applications that are available in this category which is social network so you see for example, uh, we have uh, Bado, uh, Blogger, ChatMe, Client. Let's check Facebook. Facebook is there. All right, very good. Let's uh, have a look if we have some more, which are Meetup, for example, is there. So something it's uh, known, for example, uh, let's check uh, LinkedIn. Did we see if uh, we have LinkedIn? So it looks like uh, LinkedIn is not uh, showing up over here, I think. Let's have a look more. What do we have? So uh, you see that uh, Yahoo blog. So uh, all of those uh, are inside the category of the social networks. What I advise you to do is that uh, because uh, Ubiquiti always update this list. So what I advise you to do is to make an upgrade for your um, operating system to the latest version. So how to do that? We have to go to system. We go to here on the upgrade the system image. You download the Edge Max and then you upload it here, then you have the latest uh, version. I already have the latest version. So that's what I wanted to show you that you have this category. Now we need to start configuring to block it. Point number three is done. Point number four, go to the firewall and create a rule set, name it block social media with default action to accept and default log enable. So let's do that. we we'll go to the router. And now we have to start working on the firewall. On firewall net here, we go to firewall policy. I will create a rule set. A rule set is nothing more than a set of rules that you want to create. So I will say here, social, uh, what is uh, the uh, the name they said to us to write? Block social media. So I will write here, block social media. You can just put any name you want. And then I will say the default action is to accept. So I will accept everything and I will only block what I want to block. All right, so that's the default action is to accept. And then we say here the default uh, log to be enabled so I can see the logging. All right, and then I will say here, save. So that is the first thing I need to do is to create the rule set. But this rule set doesn't have any rules inside of it. Now we need to create the rule to block the social media traffic. Point number four is done. Point number five, create a rule in the rule set to drop all social media or social network categories. So the social network category, which we have seen it, we need to block it completely. 
All right, let's go to the router here. And inside this rule set that I have created, I have to say action edit rule set. And now we have to create the first rule. So I have to say add the rule. And let's say here, for example, social media. So this is the description name. Social media is to action to drop. So drop the social media. The difference between drop and reject, drop will drop it silently. So it's silent way. It doesn't say to you that I have dropped it. While if you say reject, it will drop it, but it will give you a notification that this has been blocked. Okay. So I will just use the drop and then I will enable the logging. Now we go to advanced. And over here, if you go down, you see this application. And if you click on it, look, you have all those uh, categories. So you see, we have business, bypass proxy and tunnel, file transfer, games, instant messaging, mail, peer-to-peer, -peer, so forth, streaming media, top sites, adults, top sites, arts. So all of those are categories that uh, the uh, um, Ubiquiti, they have it, and uh, they just... Uh, um, put it in category so you can apply filter rules again then. In my case, I just want to block now only the social network. So I would just say social network. So you can see it's really, really nice. You don't see it a lot in other routers. Like on Microtech, you don't have this uh, option, the uh, uh, category of the uh, uh, traffic, all right? So um, now you can say, for example, in case you want to for example, block uh, uh, the peer-to-peer. Uh, -peer. Of course, not all peer-to-peer -peer because peer-to-peer -peer change polls, but some of them can be blocked. The security updates, so something like the Windows update and so forth. So you can also block them based on the time. So let me just put here the application. And uh, over here, you can say when you want this to be blocked. So you can put the date, that you did the, the, the uh, time. So for example, you can say from Monday to Friday from 8 to 5. That's we want to block it. Anything after that, we want to keep it open. So that's possible. You can work on the source and uh, to the destination if, if you want. But now we just make it simple. I want to block all social media all the time. And then that's it. I have to say now save. So I have created this rule. If you want, we can check it again. So we have to see that the social media is dropped. I enabled the logging. And then here I put the application which I want to drop are the social network. And that's it. Point number five is done. Now, point number six, after we have created the rule set and we create a rule inside this rule set, which is to block the social network, now we need to apply it on the interface. So we have to apply it on the switch zero in direction N. What does it mean? If I go back here, so I have here a switch zero, that is the interface. I put inside of it internet two, internet three, and internet four. So those ports, we can call them ports which are bridge. That means if I compare my computer to Ethernet 2 or Ethernet 3 or Ethernet 4, it has Internet. So now what I need to do, the switch 0 is the LAN. So this is my LAN, the LAN interface, which is connected to my computer. What I need to do, I have to make it the way in because it's coming to this interface. So I have to apply the filter rule that I have created to block it the way in. That means any traffic going to the router, the way in and want to go to the Internet, then this to be blocked. All right, so let's go now again here to the edge router. We have to go to the interface here and interfaces. I say switch zero direction. We have in, out, local. I will say the way in and then save rule. And that's it. So now, believe it or not, my social media network should be completely dropped. Point number six is done. Point number seven, open Facebook and LinkedIn. I'm not sure if LinkedIn is inside this uh, a category, but we can check. Are they working? So let's first go to the edge router and maybe a good idea is to go here inside this, the stats. So you see that now inside the, this rule set, which is block social media, I have two rules. The rule that I have created, which is to block the uh, social media. And remember, we said that the, the default action for this rule set is to accept. So you see this works on sequence. It would go for the first the rule. If it match, then it will block social media and it will stop. If it doesn't match, then it go to the second rule, which is under it, which is the rule 10,000, and then it say accept. That means only the social media traffic will be blocked. Anything else will be working. Let's try to open now a, uh, for example, Facebook.com. So let's try, we go to Facebook. 
And here we go. You see, Facebook is not anymore loading. And if you want, we can go here. And uh, now we should start seeing, you see, the packets on the rule, which is social media, is increasing and the bytes. Why? Because it is blocking the social media. All right. So you see, it works perfectly. What about, let's check LinkedIn. I don't know if LinkedIn inside this list, but let's check LinkedIn. Yeah, it looks like it's inside the list. So you see, it's also blocking. LinkedIn is not working. Now, let's check YouTube because YouTube is not in this category. It's uh, mostly, it is streaming. So we open YouTube and you see YouTube, it is working. So it is not having any issue. Let's open something else. Let's open google.com. You see it's working. Let's open my website, mynetworktraining.com. It's working. Why? Because it is matching the uh, second rule and not the first rule. But Facebook not, LinkedIn not. And yeah, that's really wonderful. That's really, I really like it a lot. This, uh, the uh, DPI and the, the category, how uh, the Ubiquiti Edge Router is putting them for you. You see that this router costs something like 50, 60 euro or something like this, but it has this functionality, which is really nice, especially in production networks when you want to block traffic. So all you need to do, if you want to know, for example, if we go again to the uh, edit rule set and uh, we go here on the basic, if you want to know which application are uh, blocked for example, let's say in the streaming media, all right, on the streaming media, all you need to do is to write again this comment that I have showed you here. This comment, the this one, sudo usr sbin ubnt dpi util show cat apps, and then you put here streaming media. Then it will list for you the application which are inside this category. Then you know what you can expect to be having blocked. Point number seven is done, and uh, with this point, I have showed you a very, very nice uh, feature that is on the Ubiquiti Edge Router, which I like it a lot, which is uh, how you can block the social media, but also any other category that is listed from the uh, Ubiquiti. So uh, this is really some nice feature that Ubiquiti is providing for us for such a device, which doesn't cost a lot of money. You can do those features, so that's really something very nice. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope it was informative for you and I'll see you in another video.